Yeah, my first impression of this was like my childhood. You just like, you know, chill out and play like with the little toys. But then if you really think about it, then like when you look up, you see the tarp, the tarp and it's like made out of some garbage material. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and I know it now that it represents poverty. So there's like a much more deeper meaning to to this piece, even though it's not what it like first appears out to be. I mean, my first opinion was kind of like when you're in kindergarten, you're like going to playtime with your friends and your free time, and you go hang out on the carpet and like play with toys and stuff. And like you just like briefly touched upon like the shanty towns and what they are. Putting the ideas together of childhood and war, this whole setting reminded me of William Golding's book, Lord of the Flies. And it talked about how these kids, they were just 12 years old, they were getting younger, and they were stranded on an island, and they had to use whatever they can to make, like, food, weapons, and everything. And then they were kind of at war, and it kind of shows, it's an allegory of the, wor the world, war, ugh, world war II that was happening at that time. And it's kind of similar to this, because, as you can see, there's a lot of soldiers, and kids play with that, thinking that it's okay, but as adults, one knows that it's not for the, as a lot of people's life. Yeah, and when I was thinking a little deeper about this piece, it just kind of made me think of, of how it represents the children's and their innocence, like how they just play with toy soldiers and they are not aware of the meaning behind war and like what soldiers really have to struggle with. Just what you're saying, kind of like how we don't really give soldiers the credit they deserve all the time. Like, these people are risking their lives to save our country and our beliefs and preserve everything. Like, just to reflect back on what Gabby and Brianna were saying, that they were talking about the shanty um, yeah. towns. And actually, in the description of this piece, the artist was talking about how this was showing, like, the setting of a shanty house and how, a shanty house, excuse me. and how there were tarps and scraps that they had to use because they didn't have enough money to afford to actually get a home. So they just took scraps of different things to create a home for themselves. And this, the artist has spoke that this soldier and war feel to it was kind of showing irony how we're putting something so brutal as war into a domestic feel to it, like this is just your home, and we're bringing war to the house. And this kind of shows the fall of the Twin Towers and showing the situation between the United States and India. To us, like we don't really take it seriously, but you don't really learn how to take it seriously unless you're out there, unless you're like the size of one of these soldiers and all the men around you, and you're like, putting your life in each other's hands. You have to protect each other, you know. It's completely different, like the perspective as from where we see it, and then in actuality how they have to live it. Like, we're seeing it as a game, but that's life for them. Yeah, I agree, and just thinking about it, like about the soldiers, they're so small, and in war, war, <clears throat> I don't know why I can't say it, um, they actually don't, play such a, they, yeah, they play a significant role as in they have to fight, but they don't have, like, a saying whether they want to do it or not. Sometimes they're forced to do it, and, you know, it's, like, to help out. Actually, when we're talking about war, there's a quote that I would like to read from, to you from the artist that says, I was incredibly influenced by a type of play initiated by my aunt Robin. Basically, she would take my brother and me on adventures. After these adventures would involve trespassing. For example, on Christmas, we would explore World War II training bunkers at Jonathan Dickinson State Park because most of the security guards were at home on their with their families. They would spend the car ride out to wherever they were going, constructing the narrative, the narrative of why they were going to go there, to investigate an alien land site, for example, and concise thing our cover story. I feel like that's what she had the chance to do with this piece because it 
also like I feel like it kind of represents like a play because in a play it doesn't everything you can tell it's like it looks like fun everything's being acted out but there's also a story being told behind everything and that's what we see in this piece like you might not like at the first impression understand what everything is about but if you really think about it it has a much more deeper um making a narrative and kind of showing the irony of how we put war and domestic in our domestic life just put war into our homes so yeah and we now know that this was also inspired um it was actually made right after 911 right okay. so so you guys are saying how work is like a satirical thing which is like she uses Humor to like not humor but something yeah something funny to make you know correct something bad yeah. make something light of something serious. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for watching our video thank and I hope I hope that you come and see the review video. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>